Yo, what's going on guys? The Vlad meta has shifted quite a bit. You basically want to run him top and bully melee characters. Traditionally, the issue with this is you have low survivability from ganks because of your long W cooldown. However, in the current meta, you get super tanky. You W max first, so it's a super short cooldown because per level it goes down roughly two seconds shorter. And yeah, you're just super hard to kill get giga tanky. For your runes, you want grass, demolish, conditioning, overgrowth, gathering, transcendence with Haste and Scaling Health, a super hyper scaling page. And we wanna use our grasps really every time it's up. <clears throat> you see every time we deal damage or take damage. So we're just gonna walk up, get him with an auto cute. We're gonna run away. We don't wanna let him get that last auto. He finds it anyways. Trading damage isn't the worst thing ever since we can heal it off with grasp and Q spam. Our third Q is essentially empowered. You'll see that here in a second. It does, it does extra damage and whatnot. Also extra healing. This guy's playing back though, so if he's going to be hiding in a bush, I don't necessarily want to waste my word on it. Auto Q. Auto Q. Q goes off pretty much instantly. We're going to W, dodge an attack, drain the whole wave. Vlad heals so much from his, from his W now. The more damage you deal with it, the more targets you hit. So if we're hitting his minions and him, he basically just loses. There's not a character in the game that can out-trade it if Vlad's hitting a bunch of stuff with his W. They changed that, I think it was a patch or two ago. So that's why the Vlad Vladimir meta is what it is. We're going to go another point into our W because it is that strong. We're just like pushing wave and healing and whatnot. It's just crazy, crazy good. Oh, missed cannon, yikes. That's really unfortunate. He used his, uh, I think, Ghost and Ignite. We want to get him with this Empowered Q. Got it. Turn, get him with the auto. We did miss the minion, though, which is kind of bad. Every time we apply Grasp, it gives us permanent bonus health. Got him with the Q auto. We're going for the EW. We hit the whole wave, and we get him with that. You always want to E then W because you can channel your E while you're in your W, but not after you cast W. Auto Q. Our auto range is a little less than our Q range, so if we can reach him with an auto, we can generally reach him with a Q. Ah, it sucks. <laughs> I actually just got executed. I thought I could just flash EQ him, but he wiggled his way out. Luckily, he didn't get any gold from it because he hadn't hit us recently. We'll go ahead and buy as much of Cosmic as we can afford. Uh, I don't mind just rushing down Aether. Aether is really good for the movement speed. Yeah, the healing on this is crazy of the damage dealt. Super high. What they're going to have to do is nerf it against uh, non-champions, which makes sense. That's how most healing works. That way you can't just use it against minions and giga heal. Oh, geez. I have Quinn jungle. Yeah, she's making me miss CS to back her up. Vladimir needs lots of CS and lots of grass stacks. With your passive, you get more AP the more health you have. You typically don't want to push early on. It's uh, more dangerous if you're shoved early. After you've built somewhat of a lead, it's much. It's not very dangerous to shove because you can usually 1v2 or escape regardless because you got so much health. Again, with Empowered Q, couldn't reach him with an auto. We're going to go another point in a W. And we're gonna make sure we get these minions pop it with Q. Q damage is so freaking good. After you come out of Blood Pool, if they try to hit you with a big ability, you can always get down Q. Uh, at the same time, they're kind of hitting you with that big ability. Just because the Q casts so quickly. It's pretty much instantaneous. Get them with an EW. We don't want to miss that minion for him. Hit him with the Empowered Q. He's running out of health so fast. We keep flicking him with autos. Our E range is slightly more than our auto range. Get with the E, auto Q. There's another grasp. Almost took a turret shot for that. We'll use our empowered Q on the minion because he backed way, way, way up. We'll just go ahead and use our potion here. Keep our grasp up. There it is. And we can just heal off the wave, especially if we don't think the enemy jungler's here. We'll bonk this guy here in a second when he steps up. Just hit him with an R. EW, we heal so much off of it. 
like I said, you wouldn't normally shove, but we have so much health. Like, super early on, shoving is bad, but we have such a big advantage on him right now. Auto Q. Get him with the E auto. The E is the slow, of course. Auto Q. Yeah, that's, that's so cool how Vlad Q range outranges his uh, autos. It just lets you know that if you're in range to hit him with an auto, you can generally hit him with a Q after. Auto Q. We need to get away from this, though. I think we're fine. I just have to use my W. It turns pretty, pretty uh, high damage there. We just need to press EW if he tries to jump on us. EW, we heal off the wave. He jumps back. Now my W is on cooldown for a moment. Get him with an auto Q. Take a turret shot, not the end of the world. I'll back up for a second just because blood pulls on cooldown. My power key's about to be up. I'll step up. We get him for that minion. Not bad. That's a grasp. Infinite scaling health. I think for range characters it's like think four. Four HP. Yeah, he did not want to get hit by that. I need to get down a ward. I could get him with an R. With the EW, we heal off the wave massively. Down he goes. He didn't have R. He, did, he wasn't really taking that into account there on that fight that I had R and he didn't. Because the last trade he technically won, but he used his ultimate to win that trade. And then with Demolish, we can take the plates. This is past the early part of the game. We've established a lead. Like I said, shoving is fine at this point. We have got a bunch of points in our W. It's likely to be up when we get ganked. Mm, that's dicey. Oof, missed the cannon. Go with the Q auto. He's fighting me on my minion wave, so it's actually not that bad of a fight. He shouldn't try to freeze the wave like this. He lost way too much health, and there's really nothing gained from it. Auto Q. I have to flash away from that. Oof, he got us there. Yikes. We have Cosmic. Generally, you should go Lucids before you finish it, though. I needed a safe flash to get away from a, a spin. He had tier 2 boots there. I needed to take that into account. I have two devs? What the heck? Oh, yeah. One's an ex Execute. I was going to say, I was like, man, I don't remember this guy killing me twice. Up a decent amount of CS. 25 Grasp, which is pretty, pretty high. By 40%. So we should have four. So yeah, it's about 100 bonus health for us right now off Grasp. That's so funny that he went for these Swifties. That's why you need to get Tier 2 Boot Rush on Vlad. Super, super important. If you don't, then you'll get cheese down like with what just happened to me. He had an R. I didn't have R. He has Tier 2 Boots. I didn't have Tier 2s. Keep fishing in autos on him. Yeah, Briar wants this bad. I got a ward. Got our empowered Q coming up. Takes a moment. We want him to jump in on us so we can fight him on this wave. Use our EW. Ghost him down. If he doesn't die to that, I'm going to be really bummed out. Alright, he doesn't die to that. <laughs> we kill him with E. <laughs> Our damage is kind of low right now. We're a scaler. Our runes aren't online yet. Conditioning isn't online at all. 
Technically, that only provide tankiness, but still. Whoo wee! Man, I wish Quinn would bug her on off. <clears throat> so much healing, it's crazy. Get him with the grass bottle, cute. He must have his R. We, just, we have to kite it out, really play around our abilities. We dodge his auto with W, hit him with the E. Get our Q empowered, float in a grass bottle. That's big. Got him with that E auto. Cute. I know he has his R, but he's so low. He's in a really tough spot now. Really, really tough spot. Let's heal off of him. <clears throat> Get him with the EW. Mm, couldn't quite get him. Got his R. He's super low. He can't effectively take a gank now. Missed my empowered Q on him. That sucks. Got him with the EW. Easy peasy. He needs his jungler to giga camp his lane at this stage. Then we can heal off the whole wave. Just hit it with the EW. Very juicy, man. Vlad is a lot of fun to play right now. The grass setup. Very, very fun. Okay, Briar is not over here. We're chilling. I can get Cosmic now. Lots of movement speed AP health synergize with the passive damaging enemy champions grants us movement speed very busted we'll go rift maker for more healing also more haste so we can spam our blood pool blood pool is expensive to cast but as long as you're hitting a bunch of stuff with it and ideally dodging something from the enemy at least an auto attack or ideally an ability and you're hitting them and their minions there's no way to out trade that the value is too high. Now, if you're just randomly using it, you're not hitting anything with it, you're not dodging anything, then yeah, it's a pretty crap ability then. We're going to lead in. I wanted to get my Q empowered. He's running. If they're going to just like let you hit them, hit them with an RQ, then EW. That's the full combo. The R sets it up and increases the damage they take. So you typically start combos out with it. gives away your intentions but even if you can't kill them they'll be chunked and your R heals you to where it's hard to necessarily lose the trade I blood pulled a little too early there got his ghost though not horrible he's not a full item and I am it's a big difference we dodge his auto we also hurt him with our blood pool and heal off the minions all at once it was very decent Blood pull it out. We got her flash. That's actually not bad. Uh, blood pull. Let's blood pull her down. There's a shutdown. That's hilarious. Ooh, she almost got me with that. Need to get our thing pump in here. Blood pull the wave. Why not? Auto Q auto. Got the wave. Trin can't kill me. I'm too fast. He needs a stride breaker or something. My atom advantage is extreme. He would have to have ghost flash plus R right here to be able to kill me. Well, maybe. Okay, that's exactly what he had. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. 
I thought he used something earlier, but he had uh, Ignite and his R. Unfortunate. Third item, typically it should be Robidon. He has so much health off your AP. You can go Leandre's, but they're not that tanky. If we're up against a Zack or something, Zack or Orn Top, it makes sense, but otherwise, Robidon's best. He was a full item, though. I shouldn't have bothered fighting it. He was one full item, I was one full item. Difference is, he had. He had abilities, man. He had his R, he had Ignite. My blood pool is almost back up. If it was up just a second sooner, we win it. Blood pool. Blood pool. Interesting. I thought the blood pool had a slow on. I guess it's really just the E. Still up CS. I mean, we have his turret. Even if Trin has equal gold spent, I'm not too worried about what he's going to be able to do. Auto Q. Empowered Q is scary. It's pretty much twice as strong. Nice, nice, nice. Got Empowered Q coming up. Got on with the EW. <clears throat> I don't know if he has R or not. I don't really care because I have everything up. She's probably thinking the same thing. Yeah, he has R. <clears throat> yeah, I got Trin R. <clears throat> We're chilling. All right, <laughs> she's gonna hit me. We'll EW into him. He's dead. Just R E W. He thinks he can survive with the ravenous active heal. That's not gonna happen. Over my dead body. Do 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 do. It's funny that Karma's even over here. There's not a whole lot she's going to be able to do. My healing's too high. Auto Q. Still looking to get those grass stacks. Even if Trent has R here, I have a ghost. I should be able to kite him out. Oh, cool. Here he is. Speaking of Trent. Got with the EW. Something I need to do more is kite away on the EW when he's full health. That way he can't threaten a kill. He just ran out of HP. My man ran out of HP real quick. Walking to him with the E. Got him with the Q. They need <laughs> they're gonna need to send some more people. Dance it out, dance it out. Get our Q rolling. We'll W into that, get some health back. Q the minion. Pop him with the Q, catch him with the E. I guess he's gonna stay. How many grass do I have? 44, all right, not bad. Almost 200 health. I like it. I like it a lot. I need to send anyone to help this guy. Got him. Empowered Q. Hit him with just the EW. Float into him. Hit him with as much blood pool as we can. And then they die. Just like so. Same thing. She's actually dead. She just doesn't know it. I had flash. And ghost. My R was about to be up too. With the mosh, we can 
pressure the turret, take it down pretty quick. Because Vlad doesn't take turrets that fast without demolish. We use the blood pool speed up. Boogie on out of here. Decaying movement speed. My goodness, over one second. My goodness, I have 4K gold. I'll grab a Rabadons and spank these kids. Let's go for this. Nice, 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 nice. Chilling on 600 AP. I didn't even realize Vlad's auto range was so short. It feels long. <clears throat> it's because <laughs> when you're playing against a melee. Yeah, 450. Timo's auto range is 500. I think Nars is 425 or 350. Standard 80 carry auto carry range. Like Kaisa, Jin is 550. Catch him with the Q. Catch him with an E. W. He R'd so early there. We kind of had to. I think my R kills. I'll get the QEW. Got him with the grasp. Get him with the Q. Whoa! Vlad's so dumb. We're raid boss mode now. Almost 5,000 health, 20 minutes in. We're really close to 5k health. And if you farm better than me, which isn't that hard to do, you'll have even more health than AP. Especially if you're dying less. There's a lot of mistakes I made, and if I didn't make them, I would be way bigger than I am now, and Trin would be even farther behind than he is. Since Vlad is such a scaler, it doesn't necessarily matter how far behind your opponent is, it just matters like what you're consuming. If you're getting CS and Grasp, that's good enough, as long as you're not dying. Generally speaking, with how strong this is right now, you will end up getting a kill from it at some point. He tried to hit me with that slow. I think he's dead. W through the wave. Get with the QE. Auto Q. Auto. We'll blood pull it. EQ. Down she goes. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. We'll W through it. Get with the Q. I heal so much. She's basically not even hurting me. She's three items, bro. She's three items. <laughs> I'm three items. Sure, I'm bad, but she's three items too. She, I, I thought she's for sure like only one item max. But no, she's three items. <laughs> it's not doing damage. Get the speed up off of Cosmic. If he steps up, I can catch him with an EW. The little speed up. No one wants to come fight me now. They're all getting tired of it. Kind of want to walk into him with an R. Empowered Q. What's funny is the grasp autos actually hurt. It gives some pressure on our measly auto attacks. Get him with the EW. He's dead. Yeah. There was no shot there. Get our Q pumping. Who are they gonna send? Oh, uh, just Lux. EW will go stand. Oh, <laughs> I just needed to wait. They were taking their sweet time. I couldn't quite catch it. I guess Karma speed up was on the Lux. Kite this back out. Auto QE. I guess I could stick around. I mean, backing for practically full build, 25 minute marks enticing. Certainly I don't need to. Absolutely not necessary. Heart still in a way is viable on Vlad. It's just not quite worth. Heart still is an item, it's a little too pricey. If it was cheaper, like 2,800, then it would probably be worth. 3K for what it does is not really worth. You're, you're essentially just stalling out the game on purpose <clears throat> if you're buying heart still or if you're playing in an elo where people are really good and they're never really going to let you kill them maybe you can get heart stills off them but you're not going to be able to get kills type of thing that's what you're playing for is heart still stacks or late game scaling 
If Karma's by someone, I can't kill them. They're, they're gonna run away with her speed up. I gotta be patient. Boop. These, they're just playing so far back, it's annoying. I just hate how far back they're playing. I hate it so much. And with the EW empowered Q. The speed in which Vlad can take camps is frightening. Oh, he's running. I must be on a ward. I should probably go split the side waves. The uh, opposite side wave. I already have this in There's no reason for me to really be here. We'll go Zanias. And then we'll go for... I guess I'm fine with Mesh. You should never really buy Mesh like this. I'm so far ahead though. I think I can make it work. Buying raw Mesh, no pre-stack, 10-stack Dark Seals bad in general. Nice thing about Mesh is the movement speed, 10 plus stack. Make us really, really fast. See, we speed up all the way 497. It's a rapid decay. That quick versus that quick movement speed is a lot of times how you stay on top of them all right speed up into him can't quite catch him he's fast he's got movement speed stuff fast boots plus phantom oh they get turned off that holy crap what a misplay on my part if they send three people as long as i don't let a hard cc hit me like luck snare i can kill all three for sure Level 18. Lux is 17. Ooh. Ooh. Oops. I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to queue first. Wow, that E chunks. They got some peeps over here. Or for a moment they did. I have ghost. Could do an E flash. Uh, maybe a flash R E W Q. Let's get the Q ready at least. To where it's going to be empowered for extra damage. We'll go into him with a ghost. I want him dead. Yes, sir. Cost me both sums, but hey, I got that son of a gun's flash. There's the demolish. Juicy. Juicy fruit. I have zero assists. I haven't grouped at all. <laughs> we kite away. Oh, this is bad. Give him that Q. Oh, okay, we got him. All right. I mean, we died. <sighs> Sucks. I'll just sell the mesh. I need a full item. What would have made the difference there? What item would have saved us? He bought my glasses. Good lord. Papa bless. Yeah, we're 5k plus health right now. 900 AP. We have so much haste, I think lucids are kind of pointless. It, it really is at this point just for the summoner spell haste, since normal haste doesn't interact with summoner spells. Because realistically, just selling boots, maybe for Lich Bane, or grabbing, grabbing a more expensive one like Mercs or Plated. Yeah, I guess we'll hold on to it. It'd be nice if you could upgrade lucids like you can Berserks, Zephyr. <laughs> 2k gold for 10% attack speed is kind of nuts. Very expensive. Alright, full build. Got elixir. 51 grasp. How much health is that? That is... I don't even know. 51. That's over 200. 
We'll, we'll leave it at that. And then we have 300 off of overgrowth. We're about to get this drag. I can camp bush, I guess. Hit a fat, juicy R. There's no way they actually fight for this. I think Lux is going to throw a blind R. It's kind of what Lux players do. She tried. Didn't get it. All their inhibs are open is the thing. I don't even need to be bought. I could go top. I don't understand where my teammates are. They're kind of just missing. They're missing. Three, twelve, one, and eight. I didn't even realize. This game is close right now. I don't have flash or ghost. She almost died from that. Hmm. We'll WE into him. <laughs> oh, he almost died from that. The fact that he was willing to do that's insane. Now he landed a lot of it. I'll give him credit. Credit's due. He basically landed all of it. I still have him on ghost duration, so I don't mind going back in for a moment. I only dodged two shots. I guess he landed two. <sighs> he had barriers. He's got karma keeping him alive. It's tricky to kill that son of a gun. Maybe if I have flash. Oh, yeah. I'm going to blood pull that one, buddy. Nice try, though. That's cute. Get with the QEW. Get with the Q again. Get her with just raw W. She's dead. Uh, I guess not. Okay, yeah. I actually didn't kill her. <laughs> Crazy. Did she bury her that? She might have. I should have E'd first there. That was dicey. Boop. I don't. I mean, farming is kind of pointless. Over. I guess overgrowth is technically giving me more, more HP, which technically gives me more AP. But yeah, I don't necessarily need to farm more. So on our team, try to surrender, which is hilarious. <laughs> Dawson is surrender vote. Oh, I thought I was out of range for that. QEW. Waves pushed. Who's alive? Oh, it's just Karma. I think we end here. QEW. Alright, we'll take it. Take it we shall. Let's get the graphs. Looking at damage dealt, we did have the most in the game. Damage taken, most on our team. And... Self mitigation most on the team. Runes high value. All oh, Vlad is extremely mindless and overpowered with this setup. It's a really good strat. Very strong meta to where you constantly have aggression to, to where you can step up auto Q even if they try to trade with you as long as you get your W on the minions and them. It's going to be a positive trade. The only exception is like Darius can be kind of tricky. If he hooks you at the right time, and you don't have flash ghost. You probably, probably will die. But outside of the Darius matchup, Vlad doesn't really have too many like hard matchups. They're all pretty Vlad favored, at least when it comes to top lane. If you guys enjoyed this Vlad video, let me know what character you want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.